Hello, in this video you'll learn how to use library resources for finding information on your mathematics individual. There are two primary resources that can help you out. The first is a little bit more basic and background research in the form of encyclopedias and dictionaries, and the second will jump into the Noble Catalog for searching for books on your particular individuals. First, let's go to our library homepage at www.gordon.edu library. The library has created a course guide specifically for the Math 491 course. If you head down to the colored boxes at the bottom and go over to the orange research box and click on research guides, you'll see a list of all the major subject disciplines that Gordon has available. Go ahead and click on mathematics in this list and then math 491 senior seminar. You can see that this course guide contains a lot of different information about different resources that you can use for searching for information on your particular topics. The homepage actually contains quick links to both the individual paper and the topics and trends paper. And then more details are explored throughout these different tabs for the Noble catalog, databases, academic journals, and more. We are gonna stick within the first category right here of background information, exploring the Gale in Context biography resource and create a reference for background information and then we'll jump over to the Noble Catalog for searching for books on your individual. Let's start by looking at the Gale in Context Biography resource. Gale in Context databases are great resources because one of the primary purposes is to help connect you to multiple different kinds of information. You might see background information like encyclopedias or dictionaries. You might see news articles or videos, multiple things like this to help get you connected to the research that you need. We're gonna start by searching for a particular math individual. I'm gonna use as an example, George Boole. Now, does anybody know why as a librarian, I would choose George Boole? We're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the information that we're finding to help answer that particular question. So notice I enter in my mathematics individual name as my keyword, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click search. So if you're able to find a reference for your particular individual in Gale and Context Biography, you'll see a little topic page come up, and you can go ahead and click on the read more option to read additional information about your individual, or notice if you scroll down on this page, there's a whole bunch of different options here. We actually have a hit for 11 different biographies on this individual in different encyclopedias and dictionaries. And we also see we've got a link to at least one magazine article, a website, a couple of images, and a few news stories as well. So a lot of information that we're able to see. And over here in the corner, we can actually see a quick fax. Who was this particular person? What time period was he living in? What was his occupation? And we see he was indeed a mathematician. Let's go ahead and click on the read more option. So what we're essentially looking at is an encyclopedia entry, which is a great way to first begin reading a little bit about your individual. One of the things that we were to notice if we were to keep reading this is that George Boole is considered one of the father of mathematic logic, in particular Boolean logic. That's where we get the name Boolean search operators. Our Boolean search operators are really important when we think about how we search within libraries. It's how we connect our keywords and terms together so that our resources can understand. And that's particularly why a librarian is interested in George Boole. Let's go back to your course guide and take a look at another background information resource, and that's called Credo Reference. Credo Reference functions very similarly to the Gale in Context Biography, but it's searching across a variety of different subject areas, so the information is going to be a little bit different. Again, we'll start with the keyword of the individual's name, go ahead and click search, and we see a similar kind of set of search results. First, we have a topics page that Credo is providing us here, and then if we scroll down, we have a whole bunch of different encyclopedia entries on this particular person. Of particular interest as well is this mind map over here in the corner, where it helps connect you to your individuals and the different uh, ideas that this person was a founder of or a part of, or the other people that may have been influential in their particular thoughts. This might be further areas for exploration or discussion as you continue to explore your individual. So Gale and Context Biography and Credo Reference are two examples of high level overview information. But let's say we actually need to take this a step further. How can we find books about your individual? Let's jump over to the Noble Catalog. On this page, you'll see I've given you some suggestions about where books are often housed within our library. Most of the time, these are on stack five. And then we're actually gonna go ahead and run a quick search in the Noble Catalog. So click on that link in your Noble Catalog box. This opens up the full search catalog. And just like we've been seeing, we're gonna to continue to use our individual's name as our primary keyword in to finding books on this particular person. Go ahead and click search once you've entered your individual. 
Now, depending on who you're looking at, you're going to see a mixture of things in your search results. You might see books by your particular individual in the case of this one. If we were to scroll down, eventually we'll get to the works that are about George Boole. So we can see there's one called The Life and Works of George Boole, The Logician and the Engineer, all sorts of different things that we can potentially explore for this particular person. Let's go ahead and jump into one and take a look at an example. Once we're on the particular book's record, we can learn a little bit more about how we actually access it. In the case of this one, this is an ebook. So to access the ebook, we'll just click on the link that says Access for Gordon College via EBSCOhost. Ebooks are great because they can be accessed anywhere at any time as long as you have an internet connection. Notice that when we clicked on that link, we're essentially looking at the full ebook right away, and we can see the full table of contents here so we get quick into the sections that will be most useful to us as we're learning a little bit more about our individual. Let's go back to that book records here. One of the other things that I'd like to draw your attention to is this subject area down at the bottom. You'll see that the subject of this book has actually been tagged with Mathematics, Great Britain, Biography. It's interesting to click on this particular heading, especially if you're struggling to find a book about your particular author. For example, if we were to click on Mathematicians, Great Britain, Biographies, we are essentially looking Looking at all the biographies within Jenks Library that have been tagged with this same subject heading. So we might find additional information about some of the people that you're interested in exploring. Or maybe you're not necessarily sure who you want to explore yet. You could use the subject, one of these particular subject headings to see what are all the mathematician biographies that we have within our library. Some of you may be wondering as you're doing your particular searches either within Credo or Gale in Context or across the Noble Catalog, what do you do if you cannot find a book about your particular topic? That's the opportunity opportunity where you can actually look beyond Gordon. One way that you can look beyond Gordon is by using other Noble libraries. Let's go back to the Noble catalog. And again, we're going to type in the keyword George Boole. But this time, instead of searching for only information that's accessible to me at Gordon, I'm going to expand this to Noble All Libraries and then go ahead and click search. We have really opened up the potential resources that are available to us now. We have a lot more books that are by him, but additionally, we've opened up some additional books that we didn't see before. Let's pretend you wanted to get one of these books uh, by George Boole sent here for you. How would you do that? I'm going to go ahead and click on this title, and you can see in place of the Gordon information down here where it says library, we can see the lending library, in this case of Merrimack, and if we want to get this book sent directly here for us, we'll just click on the place hold with the little green check mark. Go ahead and fill this information out. If you've never done this before, click on the forgot your password to create a password or a pin the very first time. Log in, click submit, and the book will be sent directly here for you. So be sure to explore all the different resources available to you for finding different information about your individual. Next, once you think you found a couple of ideas, head to the stacks and see can you actually find these books and maybe you'll discover there's even more resources up in the stack levels of Jenks once you get there. If you have any questions, remember you can always ask Jenks.